right, all right, that's enough of the mega montage, the super sexy shots. I know you want to see it, but we've had enough of it. Now, you guys and girls, let me know in the comments down below that you wanted to see this bike absolutely shredded and you've been waiting long enough. So let's go and get the steed. Amazing grace, how sweet. Welcome back everybody. Now for those of you who didn't see, I built up one of the cheapest full suspension e-bikes I could find. And if you haven't seen it, well don't worry, it's linked in the description down below. That bike then was the mighty AEB 15. Straight from eBay, this external battery beauty cost me a wallet friendly 600 pounds. But we wanna know, how does it ride? Here it is then people, the mighty Allegro AEB 15. 100 mil of travel front and rear hub driven external battery beauty i mean look at it behold its glory we've got ergonomical grips we've got seven speed out the back yes and a kickstand but what we want to know is how is this off road so i'm here in a private quarry because remember this is a throttled bike it's got a thumb throttle on it it's not a pedal assisted bike so we're on private land which is the only place in the uk that you can use these things so first up the hill climb challenge as a bit of an e-biker myself, we all have a climb, so that is the first test for this thing. 350 watt brushless motor at the ready. We're gonna put the old seat up into climb mode because no dropper, droppers are expensive. Ah, we need all of the assistance. Assist, 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 assist. Right, see you on the other side. Ugh. Oh my God, no pedaling. Will we even make it up this gentle slope? Come on. Ah. Ah. Oh my God, she's burning out. Hmm. Assistance may be required. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Wow, gears are all over the place. A normal e-bike should get up this climb pretty simple, but it's very rocky. Oh my Lord. That thumb throttle is mashed all the way in. Come on, assistance. We're grinding, but it is getting up here. That's the thing. The naysayers may have said nay, but for a considerable amount of energy, we're going for it. Okay, this is the steepest part of our climb. Watch out, cameraman Louis. Oh my Lord. There's, is there any assistance? Yes, mellowing, heart rate peaking. Okay. That's the halfway point. So, a fundamental flaw with this bike, not necessarily the bike, but the design is that, oh my God, the hub drive means that when you're really far over the front, you're losing traction. Oh my God. Come on, hub drive. Ah! Ooh. I didn't make it. Take two. Ah. Sprint. Oh my God. Come on. Oh my God. It's so uh, difficult. Oh my God, we're not gonna make it. It's under about. Uh, oh, oh my Lord. Okay, there's an inherent problem with this bike. Well, many, but the biggest is just underpowered. Trying to climb up here feels like there is very little assistance, unfortunately. The motor's just not powerful enough. And the problem is with all that weight on there, like at the back of the bike. It makes you feel like you're gonna loop out all the time, so you have to have so much body weight forwards. Oh, that's enough of that. Let's get onto the proper scary stuff and go downhill. Ah, oh, my face. Oh my God. Crystal clear. That's as clear as mud down here. Beauty. Jonesy EMBN, this line's cleared out for you, buddy. I'm gonna come up over, oh, let's get rid of that crap. Who, who needs gloves? They're only brambles. Well, so this is going well. <laughs> well, the, the bike will be fine then. Whew. 
the line has been cleared. So here is where I'm going to roll in from. We're going to go down here, probably puncture on this first rock, another puncture on that second rock down here, added a stone to smooth things out. And then, I just tried to walk up this, apparently you can't very easily. We're going to go down here along that ridge, wait for it. Oh dear Lord. Down this way to here. That's the first section, then it mellows out and then you can get your breath back. Then really it's kind of a pick your line type deal. I've not really bothered clearing anything. I'm just going to ride down there I think and see what happens. Right then, dropping in in three, two, one. Oh my God. Cable actuated disc brakes don't fail me now. Oh. Oh my lord, did you hear that? Can't slow down. <laughs> oh. oh, did you hear the ting? What the hell was that? Oh god. Did you hear that? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I'm going a bit fast. Oh, she's off camber. Oh dear lord. Oh. Oh dear lord, oh god! Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh! Oh lord! Some issues! There's some noises out! Oh! Oh, oh my god! Out the back! <laughs> Hang on, two secs. Would you Adam and Eve it, people? It sort of survives to tell the tale. We finished the downhill for the day. My cutting ghetto track worked. The rough descents, well, they they, they proved to be a, a little troublesome for this bike. So, status report, damage report, if you like. Well, look, the seat just, he just spins around now because it doesn't stay up. Both the brakes are warped. They're fairly bent. Uh, Mega surprised I didn't get a puncture to be honest people because we've got tubes in him but I pumped him up to about 35 psi so that's probably why there was no grip but no punctures at the same time. The biggest problem now, it didn't snap which is 100% what I thought was going to happen and I didn't end up with a fork spring in my eyeball either. I guess the over-engineered gussets and stuff actually kind of worked. It was dreadful on the uphill as we saw, it was just under pad. The biggest problem is the back ends essentially collapsed, the rear shocks shot and now the motor and the battery, or sorry, the battery up here and like the wire and underneath it is just banging on the back tire all the time. It's worn the bolt away, split the casing, and it's starting to puke out a bunch of wires. So give it much longer and that would definitely be the first thing to go. I tell you what, for 600 quid, I'm mega surprised. If you could find a 600 quid pedal assisted version, hey, it's not a bad way to get into e-biking, right? Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Do we try and fix it and take it racing? Do we do a part spin special on it maybe? What do we do with it? Because it ain't proper dead yet, people. I'm out of here. See you later and until next time.